In this video recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some absolutely gorgeous chicken Caesar lettuce wraps. They will go down a storm and they're ready in a flash. Yes, hello folks, it's Barry here, your self-taught host. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Now, I feel like we've got quite a good relationship now, uh, digitally, uh, over the years, and you probably know that I've got a bit of an obsession uh, for grab food, okay? Uh, things like fajitas, sandwiches, baguettes, all that stuff. You know where you can really get amongst the food and be as one? These lettuce wraps give you just that. And I actually used to hate chicken Caesar. Uh, you know, I do that playlist, right? Food fears, where I try and overcome my fear of foods. For example, beetroot, I now love it. Uh, Caesar salad for me was exactly the the same I just couldn't do it but one day I just I think I was force fed it and I absolutely love it so the cool thing I like about this it'd be great at a party because you know you could omit the bacon I don't know why you'd do that uh, you might omit the chicken uh, or you can just sort of let people build it all together in a nice little stack and completely go to town on it uh, so I've already done a couple of steps um, after having my morning coffee in my Lionel Rich tea mug uh, I basically bashed together a chicken breast between two sheets of bacon parchment so it's nice and thin that helps it cook a little bit quicker. Placed it on a griddle pan and cooked it either side. And just towards the end, I shoved in some rashes of bacon just to cook those two. I did give the dogs a couple of those bits, but uh, we won't go anywhere further than that. And they're just over there resting because we actually want them cold for this recipe. So next step, we are gonna make our croutons with some stale bread. To make croutons, you need some stale bread. And yes, being English in true Mary Poppins style, I would normally feed the birds tuppence a bag with this, but um, no, today the birds are going without and we just slice off uh, the crusts like so. So you're left with this kind of rug of bread like so. And what I've got here is some butter that's been melted and a pastry brush. I just melted that butter in a microwave and we just paint it. We get all like Banksy inspired and we just go crazy with it. Get it nice and bronze there. This is gonna help with the color and of course the flavor. You could even season them too now. You need to get them in the shops with like the cracked black pepper on all that. Feel free to like season it up right now. Rub some paprika in it. I love paprika. Let me just flip it over and do the other side. Do the edges as well if you feel like it. This is where with it being stale and a little bit more firmer, a little bit more butch, it will hold that butter a little better. So what we do now is we just slice strips, quite even ones if you can. Okay, cool. Spin it around, try and keep it level and then back again to try and get even sized squares, which hopefully, in your opinion, they do in my opinion, look, you know, a little bit like croutons. So we just stick these onto a baking tray, well spread apart like so, and they're going into a preheated oven, the temperatures are on your screen right now, for around about 15 minutes or until golden brown. Not sure if you saw that, but I did a little Snapchat as I put it in the oven. Amazing. And these guys will keep an eye on the oven for me. Well, we haven't really got that many more steps to do now. Uh, we've already done our chicken and bacon, uh, which I am gonna slice up, but you don't need me to show you that step, but we will make our Caesar dressing now, which is super simple. All right, so uh, let's make this dressing all into a food processor. If you haven't got this, you're gonna have to chop away and mix away in a big old bowl. So we're gonna start off with some sour cream. So about two tablespoons of that, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Ah, uh, yeah, this is really hard to do with my other hand. <laughs> Sorry, I'm left-handed. I don't know why I did it that way around. Ugh. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Now this is not Dijon mustard. This is horseradish mustard. I've never, like, I just discovered this, which looks awesome. Uh, so it looked the same color. I'm sure it's gonna taste good. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Oh yeah. These are some anchovy fillets. Uh, I've got three in a pack. Uh, and they also got garlic and herbs on them as well, which is a bit of a bonus. I'm not a massive fan of anchovies like the Ninja Turtles, but the flavor does get blended in there. You kind of forget they're there. And a good grate in about a tablespoon equivalent of Parmigiano Reggiano, Parmesan, whatever you can get hold of. Just really good smelly cheese, hard block stuff. It doesn't look that appetizing right now, but let's just whiz it up and hope you change your mind. The only thing with your croutons to keep an eye on is you just need to turn them over so they evenly color on both sides. All right, shove my lid down. <laughs> Let's have a little check. Ooh. Oh, that is perfect. I'm loving the horseradish mustard. Give that a go if you've never tried it. Mmm. No tweaks needed, but this is the stage. If you didn't like it, you tweak it. So let me show you uh, what we're serving them in. This is British Little Gem Lettuce, okay? So what we do is peel a leaf off, which we'll do in a moment, and in fact, let's do it right now. Boom. And this basically becomes our serving vessel. How cool is that? Are you excited about that? I, I am very excited because basically with our croutons done, we can serve it. So let's do that. Hello. Yes. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. 
All right, I wasn't going to show you this, but these two dudes that are lingering around. Uh, we've got smoky bacon there that I've sliced up cooked earlier. If you can get smoky bacon, it'll give it more flavor. And the chicken, now it's been rested, was so soft and tender, it's sliced a dream. Ah, oh, our croutons are ready. Uh, just to quickly add, with the Caesar dressing, um, obviously my anchovies had garlic already on them. If you haven't got those, which is not really that common, just chove in one garlic clove. A well-known food photographer once told me that trying to take a decent picture of Caesar salad is so difficult because it makes it look like you're bird pooing on your dressing. So uh, we'll do our best. Down goes our humble lettuce leaf. I'll put the chunks of chicken in there and our croutons. So we can just really sort of play around with it. Wedge it in there, randomize it up, whatever you want to do. Feeling like that needs to be broken up in there. Some of our bits of smoky bacon. So remember we've griddled this, it's got smoky bacon flavor. You could obliterate it and make it super crispy or you could even just use standard bacon bits. And then as the photographer once told me, we just simply bird poo <laughs> on our dressing. Now, I don't know about you, but that to me looks half decent, but ultimately it's all about the taste. Forgot to add a few shavings of Parmesan on there as well. I was too busy getting my second one ready. Parmesan is one of the only cheeses that I can eat cold. I only really generally eat melted cheese, hence my love for pizza. And now we can taste it. Here we go. Super happy with that. Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? And they're sneaking up on you? <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Here we go. Oh my word, it just works. It's so crisp and fresh, all those flavors working in there. And of course, you've made it from scratch yourself, absolutely stonking. If you try this recipe, don't forget to send me a picture. I love to see your attempts. Head over to My Virgin Kitchen, as I say, for over a thousand more recipe videos. Subscribe for regular food fun and follow us on social media for behind the scenes bits and bobs. See you next time.